Hello there, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today we're going to take a look at the 2021 GT32. This is a brand new boat. This is the first one we have here in the US. We're really excited to show you around. The first thing that you need to know about the GT32 is this is the perfect day boat. It's got a lot of really unique features, including the large hard top. It has a lounge area in the back that can be either a large sun pad or it can be a dining area. There's also an aft-facing exterior galley that has the large sink, electric grill, and cold storage. Another area that might stun you is what we find below decks. Down here, we find a large salon area that can be converted either into a bed or into a seating area. Additionally, we have a fully enclosed bathroom that has a separate shower area. And there's even an enclosed cabin with sleeping accommodations in the aft. So here on the transom, what you're gonna notice is we've got these 300 horsepower Mercury Verado motors. These motors are awesome. They're very, very efficient. They're quiet because they're not supercharged, although we can offer you the 350s in the supercharged version. Additionally, a lot of people love these boats because now they have full joystick control of the boat. So basically these motors will individually articulate so you can drive this boat sideways with the outboard motors. Now what you're gonna notice is I've got plenty of room to walk around this area. This boat actually features a swim platform and extension on the transom, so you can easily get in and out and actually get through this whole area very nicely. Here we've got our shore power connections. That's for our regular AC power as well as our air conditioning power. A nice feature at the transom is this swimming ladder that is easily accessible and stows away so there's no tripping hazards here. On the starboard aft, what you'll see is we've got a fuel fill, hot and cold shower, as well as an emergency bilge pump. So in the cockpit area, what really stands out is this table in the up position, you have full seating around this. One of the really innovative things about this boat is we can lower the seat back down to form the full sun pad area here. This area is easily transformed into a day bed when we lower the table down and we put the filler cushions in. Underfoot, you'll notice we've got a nice hatch that when pulled up, exposes a large storage area. Because the GT32 is offered as an inboard or outboard version, in this case, we gain a lot of storage area. In addition to an abundance of storage, forward center line, we find the generator. Forward in the cockpit, midship on the starboard side, we find a summer galley. This has a nice faucet that will fold down, as well as an electric grill, cold storage, and additional storage area underneath. In addition to the aft seating, facing forward, we have four really, really nice bolstered designs. On the starboard side, we've got two chairs for the helm. And then on the port, we've got a bolstered seat here so we can have four people all joining the captain. Outboard of the seating area, you'll notice we've got a really nice window here that easily slides open. This is great for a couple reasons. You get plenty of ventilation, as well if you want to talk to people on the dock or even hand them a line, you got really great access from the helm and from the port side. Now we're gonna take a look at the helm. I love this helm. This has everything that I need here, really, really easy to access. You know, with the bolster design, I can have these seats up, I can be fully standing, I can walk around. As far as the controls found here, just forward of the traditional action throttle, I've got a joystick, so I can easily pivot and rotate the boat around, as well as I've got skyhook. That'll keep the boat in a fixed position if you want. Directly above the joystick, you'll notice the Mercury engine display. This gives me all of my data that I need about the motors, and this is networked to the larger Garmin multifunction display. We've got Lenco trim tab controls here, as well as all of the switches that I need for electronic control. To the left of the dash, I've got my side power bow thruster. Additionally, I've got two air conditioning vents, and then just below, I've got a Garmin VHF that's easily accessible. You'll note that this wheel can be tilted, so it can be adjusted to the appropriate angle that I want. Last but not least, I've got my controls for the electric hardtop. Check this out, it easily opens up very, very quickly, so I can get some sunshine if I want, or I can close it up to protect myself from the weather.
Something I've not seen in other boats is on the port side, I can easily walk through. You'll notice this opens up directly here and then the very solid windshield easily opens up. This gives me a nice walkway that's safe for kids and adults alike. Now that we're on the bow, you're gonna see my favorite feature of this boat. We've got a really huge sun bed here. We've got a sun pad for three people. You'll note you got armrests that fold down with integrated drink holders. You've got a high gunnel on this boat as well as a stainless steel rail. So if you have a pet on board, you don't have to worry about that. On the side of the boat, you'll notice I've got some nice cleats here that can be used for fenders as well as I've got a channel and an attachment point that can slide wherever you need an appropriate fender. At the bow of the boat, you're gonna notice a couple really cool things. This boat flares out. That means I've got room for drink holders, speakers, as well as a very generous chain locker. All of your ground tackle is easily accessible from this molded hatch. Below, you'll see we've got a nice size chain, a Lumar windlass, as well as a 16 kilogram anchor. Stepping down inside, we first enter the main cabin. What you'll notice here is we've got an area that can either be a lounge or bed, and then also has a pop-up table. This area is awesome for hanging out or for eating a cooked meal. And the view out the port side windows doesn't hurt either. This area features a surprising amount of storage. Down below, we've got storage hatches, as well as up above, we've got airline style storage. Turning our attention to port, you'll notice we've got a large hanging locker. And just aft of that, we've got additional storage, a hidden microwave, and a refrigerator. Aft on the port side, we've got a dedicated cabin that features a sleeping area and storage. So you'll see you've got plenty of room to get away for the weekend. The final feature I wanna point out is on the starboard side. We've got a completely enclosed head that has a separate shower area, bowl sink, and electric head. The final thing we're gonna talk about is performance. This boat performs so well today. We had a top speed of about 42 miles per hour. That's right on the edge of 37 knots. Our most efficient cruise is at 4,000 RPMs, and that's 28.5 knots, giving this boat an attractive range and low fuel consumption. One impressive feature from Beneteau is air step technology. This gives us great performance across the line and at all cruising speeds. Air step technology induces bubbles and reduces surface friction. This is gonna wrap up our tour of the Beneteau GT32. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison Yachting, thanks for checking out this boat. If you'd like to see her in person, please feel free to reach out to me directly at the information below.